Well, spring is officially here. It's time to amp up your spring wardrobe with some color. And we are talking serious color here. Yep. Local Four Style editor John Jordan has brought some fabulous fluorescent fashion ideas from the Somerset Collection mm -hmm. in Troy. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. <laughs> My pleasure. And, you know, I celebrate every equinox at the Somerset Collection. It's just a, tr so. a tradition. Rightfully so. But this season, color is not, it's not about like, you know, sort of like wading so into pink. spring with pastels. It's about big bursts of bold color. I love it. So let's go down okay. the line. Ferragamo. All right. Look at, look at, you know, there's so many like, you know, bright, cheery colors here. But something like this, it's casual, it's dressy, it's already an heirloom, trust mm -hmm. me. You know, you'll have that forever. Love it. Um, from MAC, they actually put together a collection with some fluorescent shadows Ooh, in it. La la. My advice would be, you know, do one of those on your lid maybe and combine it with neutrals. You don't want to be too over the top with okay. it. From Gucci, look at how bright these sneakers are. I mean, Bling. And, and the way that you do color like this is matter of factly. Mm. You, you don't have to worry about like matching it. Um, MCM has actually done a really good job down here with this little clutch. They actually put so this cute. bright yellow with cobalt together. I Those are it. unexpected colors. Uh, unless you go, go to school in it, right. yeah, <laughs> like I did. So go blue, go blue and, and yellow. Yes. Um, uh, here are here's a nice little collection of things that I put together. Lily Pulitzer glasses, uh, a top from Lily Pulitzer, and this is a Michael Kors bag. So you have all of these combinations of bold, bright colors mm -hmm. that are kind of predictable, but they look lovely. However, if we move over here, now you can see this color palette. Yes. And what I think is really interesting is doing like an orange bracelet with this like potent petunia. I just made up that color. <laughs> I like and, it. And magenta. And I like all <gasps> of those shades together. All right. Um, I like them together too. It's kind of like color blocking, but different. Exactly. Yeah. And a bright color like this, you can always add leopard print. Because leopard is a neutral. That's what you told me. As is this bag. So put big, bold color with subtle neutrals too. I like. Here's another collection. These are from Zara, these um, snake skin. You'll see a lot of like animal print combined with bright color this season. I like it. So you could do this, you know, this combination here, but again, look at what this bag from um, MCM has done. They've combined white with yellow, and then they've added this little insert. The popping petunia? Yeah, so see, you could put this and this together. It's, you I know, it's it. about creative color combination. it's fun. Now, if fluorescent is a little bit too much for you, mm -hmm. I highly recommend that you at least embrace color in an unexpected way. This is from Brooks Brothers. This is suede. You can use this 12 months a year. But again, you, you treat this like marigold. That's a big color. Um, it's not as bright as screaming fluorescent, mm -hmm. but at least it's color. Treat this as a neutral. And have fun with it. Exactly. That's the whole point of color this season is being fearless. I like it. So what else should we consider when, you know, putting these colors together and going shopping? Well, because you don't want to buy a whole new wardrobe. No, but but that's the, that's a really good point because you can take bold colors. You can take, uh, you know, magenta and add it to burgundy, add it to pale pink add all of these bold colors to what you already have. There you go, John. And be un unapologetic. Unapologetic. I love it.